So apparently Dev GPT is like Auto GPT and Cursor combined. Oh, one one cool feature that this has. So it's kind of like a Chat GPT interface, but like they have a button that syncs the code that it gives you into your repository. So that's one of the annoying things with all the other chat um, coding chat LLMs is you actually have to copy paste manually, but this one will sync it automatically. So I love that and we'll probably give it a go. I'm gonna try develop off my MMO again. It'd be really awesome if we can do that. Settings, settings, stack. We're using React.js, uh, React 3, Fiverr, 3.js, pretty much it. Yeah, so you just specify your tech stack and the repository and boom. Okay, we're ready to give it some things to do. Let me just run this. I don't know what, what, what could we get it to build this time? Yes. Okay. So there's a play button in the modal that doesn't do anything. So I'm going to ask this dev gpt to make the play button remove the modal that should be pretty simple make the play button in the modal component add the whole modal when clicked is the play button already functional does it have an unclick handler no is the modal a separate component or is it part of a larger component own component inside UI manager component. Should the model be hidden completely or just the play button? Hide the whole model. Uh, okay, to make the play button hide the whole model when clicked, you can add an unclick event handler to the play button that calls the da 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 to hide it. Okay, here's what I came up with. Handle play click set visible. Oh, and then if visible return null. That's perfect. So yeah, and now I can just press this sync button or sync all to local to just like have it imp implement the code now. Um, so this sync all is useful when there's multiple files that are changed. Otherwise you can just sync individual files. I'm just gonna press this sync all button and done apparently. So let's see, let's go back to the code. New code is added, it's also saved. So if we go to Berry Game, we have this play button. If I press play, boom, perfect. I really like that. I didn't have to copy and paste anything and I can just commit that now into my repository.